Hi everybody, Frank Augustine here with the Legend of Superstition Mountains, Chasing Legends. As you can see, we're going to find out what's in this. Welcome back to Chasing Legends. Thank you, Frank, for that introduction coming on in. Please hit subscribe, leave a comment if you want to leave a comment, hit the notifications bell, go to our About section, see if you want a Legends of the Superstition Mountains or Dutch Hunter Rendezvous shirt in black, gray, short sleeve, long sleeve. Uh, things don't always work each week as we hope, but we got something different for the end of the year. We're gonna present a video it's not quite an episode video, but it kind of showing you kind of we're out and about and kind of some of the stuff we're doing. So this week, join me and Frank. We're out picking up samples and going to be breaking those down for to see if we got some gold in some of these different areas and some different prospect areas we visited before. So enjoy and Happy New Year. Frank, shouldn't you have done that after you crawled in the mine? I ain't crawling in there. Oh, okay. You're going to get your sample outside? I'll get some samples on the back. Okay. Well, that's still, I was going to say, because you're... Now I'm going to get samples along here, and then up right. behind. I've filmed and taken pictures in there, so I don't care. And this is a deterrent to anybody else that tries to go in now. What are you doing? Why are you jumping? Should have put your gloves on first, shouldn't you? Before you mess with cactus. It's got you. It's going to get you. Is that a good piece for sample? Put, throw that in the empty bucket. Because this all gets that same stuff until it gets down there. And this is more what's like inside there. piece of quartz that's See, left in there. You so just, you have all this heavy rock. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then here you got this layer a little smaller of fine, stuff. finer stuff. If there's gold that's going to be in this section here. But they were digging, and the reason they were able to dig this back in here as you can just see, it doesn't take much. Everything just moves. So, it just is falling apart. But there ain't shit in it.
So were they digging back in there and digging the ceiling out? Well. Because this is what they're digging on the sides and tunneling here. This is this loose nothing stuff, and there's nothing really in this. I think. I think they were trying to get it. They, they were trying to go in this way. They may have come in this way to try to get up underneath it. But was that the first one or this one here? Because it looks like they dug back in here too. And we know they dug on the other side. But they dug back here. They went a ways back in this hole. This area, you see this top layer, <clears throat> cemented gravel. Underneath this layer, in this section, this is where they were finding something. And they, they dug underneath that, followed it back. And you can see here, this is all full of shit. Let me get a shovel and I'll Knock some of that out. They obviously worked through here. And then they we'll leave this. Whatever they were finding up in there and all drove them to dig that thing out. So, and we've been in there. Who knows? Who knows? So, this had to be after the fact. And there's no sign of anyone being down in here recently. Looks like there's animal prints. But over here, down in here, we have boot prints. So down, I don't know if anybody can see them, but they don't continue that direction. So they had to come in from over here. And for whatever reason, so we'll check that side out next. After we get done on this side, we want to check this other side. Get some samples over here. So, it's kind of an interesting kind of ledge formation here. The one you're thinking is back behind you. That's that one. I had to crawl in. It's directly across from the other one. And the whole floor of it's filled in. I don't know if they backfilled it or they gave up on it, but that was the one that I crawled in that goes way back and I filmed part of it. There's another one here. I'm sure there's more than one. It's a bigger one over here. Okay, but that was the one I crawled this, in over here. This piece? Yeah. They broke that off here and dug a little bit in that top layer. Okay, Apparently so they, didn't find nothing they the, were working up and down this whole ledge here. <clears throat> I'm going to work my way up here a bit and see what else is around. The problem today is um, there was supposed to be three or four of us out here, but uh, Trevor had a sore throat, a number of things going on. And while he tested negative for COVID, it was in the best interest of myself and definitely Frank uh, for him and Trevor as well not to come out. So that was that. So I'm stuck as kind of cameraman as long as we can do this. So which is fine. And just made another discovery. Play marker. As I was talking, I looked over here. I saw a clay marker. This one's old. And I don't know what, what it would be adjacent to. I'm sure it's been here a while. Obviously not ancient. Um, yeah, it's got Phillips head screws holding the 2x4s together, even though it's old enough that the 2x4s have no weight to them. They're completely dried out, almost sawdust.
nothing written. Start looking the other direction, see if I find another claim marker. Because I would take it this is a boundary. So taking this as a boundary, I'm going to head this direction. This is obviously the other entrance um, they were trying to work back to. Then it looked like they did a little bit of work along here. So like Frank said, they just placed that boulder over there, working on it. They left very little trash, even though we do have a piece of wood here. There was a gate or a door hatch on the one on the other side. At one time, we found some of the nails and hinges and rotted boards. It doesn't look like they did the same here. This piece of wood might have come from the other side. Hold on, Frank. I'm working my way to you. All right. So, yeah, the loop would make more. And I wonder where this claim marker is because it has to be, what is it, 1,000, 1,500 feet? Should be another one up here on this ridge. And I thought we saw one. I thought we'd seen one before. So it's a vertical shaft? So Frank was heading kind of that direction where he was and going out that way. We're looking for this um, pit um, shaft that had this tailing to this black rock. Yeah. And uh, I think he wore himself out looking for it in the wrong place because now he's looking around and I think he's just, I told him I found it. He said he was going to head back, so, but uh, I'll get him some samples from here, some of this black rock and stuff, and I found a couple other pieces that he can break up, take some samples of, right in the direct same area, so I believe this is the spot he was talking about, though, so it looked like they did a quite a bit of work around here, so I'll get Frank some good samples. Okay, so this says this is the northeast marker for the integrity. However, this other claim mark post is across the way. So I take it this might be the um, south boundary of that claim. So they put them together even though, yeah. But that's the same, probably same age two by four, same Phillip heads, old screws. So the integrity would go this way, but the other one shoots out this way. So um, I'd have to walk the ridge line here to see if I find another one, or yeah, it doesn't have any designation. So I could be at the southern end of the boundary or the western side of the boundary of that claim. It's hard to say. Until I find a third one. Once I find a third one, then it all comes together on, on this particular one, not this one. This one I'm sure I can look up. So, hey. Oh, I see. I think I see Frank moving. I think he's digging in the shitter. I have to go down and check out what he's doing. And you can see in a lot of areas they did a lot of prospect work. Um, just kind of dug out an area, push stuff aside, check. Um, there's quite a few of these areas in and around here and they're pretty old um, there was one recent one back there someone had shoveled but most of these older ones I don't know they might have brought a back or a bobcat in so it's always hard to say who's doing what and when 
most of the time We're up here and there and I've kind of wandered over now I'm over in different section another prospect and you can tell where everybody's been and where they've been working interesting oh my god a guy up here someone just came up over the horizon on a mountain bike and you can see in a lot of areas they did a lot of prospect work um, just kind of dug out an area push stuff aside check um, there's quite a few of these areas in and around here and they're pretty old um, there was one recent one back there someone had shoveled but most of these older ones I don't know they might have brought a back or a bobcat in so it's always hard to say who's doing what and when most of the time We're up here and there and I've kind of wandered over now I'm over in different section another prospect and you can tell where everybody's been and where they've been working interesting oh my god a guy up here someone just came up over the horizon with a mountain bike most interesting rock of the day to me some weird striations and stuff it almost looks like petrified wood I don't think it is but it's I'm gonna clean it up and look at it it's kind of definitely caught my eye it looks almost like a piece of a tree doesn't it so that was the most interesting one I found so I know he's gonna be like there ain't no gold in it yeah but it's a cool rock emergency you know that because how long does it take to put together depends on uh... And it's like plastic parts. Dang. Yeah, the stock. And then. And it has the rounds and the clips. That's where the clips goes, the, the barrel, and the action. Hmm. And it's waterproof. <clears throat> so if you. How much, you does drop it, it. how much does it weigh all told? This is the gun. Don't get too close. I'm trying to keep you in frame. <laughs> this is this is the gun that James Bond used in From Russia with Love. Okay. Where he he shoots a guy that's up in a billboard. He opens up a little yeah. door, comes out, and pop. Isn't that weird how they have the orange tip on the barrel? Almost like it's well, a kid's gun. Well, you can pick gun. that up real easy. Yeah, it's almost like yeah, I'm sure there. But you can was... mount a scot. Uh, scope up here. Yeah. It's got a little peep sight. Huh. Left. Left. Oh, over, above. Let me try that. Oh, here. That's right, he has no hair on his end. Well, there went one. There High standard, 1958. I bought this at a gun show around the 1st of December. It holds nine shots. It's a 22? Yeah. Huh. 22 longs? Well, no, you can shoot any 22 in it. All right. Long rifle. Long rifle, 22. There, you got one. Oh, hit the same one. Oh, he's shooting at the same target. Oh, up at top. Up above. Hi. There you go. Oh, dead center. Oh, top of it. Another side top of it.
Well, here we are. Out here with Frank. Keeping him in my view, I guess. <laughs> but um, he's sighting in his 22s today. So his survival rifle and his um, his 22 revolver. So having a good time. It looks the fire a little high too. It went through the hole. There you go. Now shoot the little pieces. Oh, well, now... Okay, fine. You good? You happy? How many was that? I don't know where. There's eight in it. Yeah, this thing sights in pretty good, don't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm out. There you go. Two. Three. So that was Chasing Legends. Thank you, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great time this holiday season. Happy New Year to everybody, and we will see you again next time on Chasing Legends.